May I ask you a question? When was the last time you saw a zombie? I'm talking about the zombie's lifestyle. The people, who unconsciously repeat their day over and over again. They wake up, have a cup of coffee then go to work. Then back home and eat. Then watch TV, then sleep, then wake up and repeat all of it again. Just break the loop. Zoom out, and focus on your everyday activities. And ask yourself, is that what you really want to do for the rest of your life? Just don't live like a zombie, stay conscious. Take the wheel and control your life. So, who you think would have more self-esteem? A zombie, or someone knows what he's doing? The first pillar is the practice of living consciously. I'm short, I'm tall. I have a big nose. I'm bold. Sometimes such things make people hate themselves. While others live with these things with no problems and they succeed in their relationships and jobs. And they have awesome lives. They just accepted what they couldn't change, and they improved what they could. So they succeeded. The second pillar is the practice of self-acceptance. So again, just accept yourself, and work on the things that you can improve, and for sure you'll have a higher self-esteem. John is overweight. Robert can't find a job. And Megan hates her job. Does John eat healthy food and exercise? Does Robert read or take courses to be accepted in a good job? And what about Megan, why doesn't she look for a better job, or start her own business? Who we are, and what we do is our responsibility. So, take a deep breath, and after taking the wheel, choose your direction and destination. The third pillar is the practice of self-responsibility. Ben is living in a filter. He always says what people like, even if it isn't what he really want to say. He doesn't like to smoke or drink. But when he meets his friends, he smokes and drinks, to please them. Do you think he's got a high, or a low self-esteem? He almost doesn't have self-esteem at all. So, just stay 100% authentic. Be assertive, when you don't like something don't do it. Be kind and refuse to do it politely. And people will respect that. The fourth pillar is the practice of self-assertiveness. Back to zombie life, living in this circle, work, eat, watch TV, sleep. Does that build self-esteem? Or a living for a purpose? Such as building your own business, learning a new sport or a new instrument, taking some courses to develop your mind and life or enhancing your spiritual life. Living for a higher purpose absolutely builds up self-esteem. The fifth pillar is the practice of living purposefully. Mark was a heavy smoker for a while, but he quit. Sometimes when he sees cigarettes, he just grab one and smoke. His mind struggles, telling him not to do this, but he just can't resist his desire. After finishing smoking absolutely his mind will start blaming him for what he did. And his self-esteem will go lower over time, as his inner voice doesn't match what he's really doing. The sixth pillar is the practice of personal integrity. Just follow your thoughts and beliefs, and do what you really want. So, stay away from zombies life. Always be conscious and live for a purpose. Be responsible for whatever happens to you. Be authentic and do exactly what you want to do and keep your personal integrity. And notice that all the pillars start by practicing. You may read books and watch videos about self-esteem, but the most important is practicing what you've learned. And these are the six pillars of self-esteem, so tell me in a comment, what you think the most important one of them, and what you think you should do about it. Waiting for your comments.